Welcome to your March 2018 horoscope. This is a very active month with the planets. And I need to let you know at the start that on the 23rd of this month, Mercury, the planet that rules technology, travel and communications, goes retrograde. So it's a good idea if you can to get any important paperwork, legal documents, agreements, lease, contracts, to get those done and signed before Mercury goes retrograde, if you can. Now, there are occasions where it's just not possible, and if it isn't, that's okay too. Just be prepared that you might have to redo it, reassess it, or just repeat something in some way, which can be a little bit annoying. But don't get too upset about it either. Good idea, if you can, to make travel plans in advance and to remember to back up your hard drive or anything to do with technology to try to get that sorted before the retro. Now let me break this month down for you, Capricorn. On the first of the month, we've got a full moon happening up here in your ninth house. <clears throat> a full moon in your ninth. Full moon, whatever full moon happens, uh, it's shining a light on this life area. This life area has everything to do with a wider perspective on life. And the moon is always about um, uh, the child within you. So when children ask for meaning, you know, why this, why that, why the other? This is an opportunity for you, and you might feel emotional about, you know, I want more meaning in my life. I want more substance in my life. And it might send you on a real spiritual trek, a real spiritual journey, which you might already be on. And during the time of this full moon, things may come to light. Something may blossom inside of you that you've been working with for a long time. You may come out of a dark place and into the light. On the 7th of the month, we've got Mercury and Venus joining Uranus up here in your fourth house. <clears throat> and uh, this is a wonderful time for doing something nice at home, something nice with family, um, beautifying your surroundings in some way. It will be a good time for any kind of communications with family members. Um, a good time for maybe if there's been uh, uh, some issues going on with Venus there, Things can calm, there can be compromises made, understanding of the other side here. And a good time really for some real heart conversations. On the 17th of the month, we have got a new moon joining the Sun and Neptune here in your third house. So this is new beginnings connected with learning something. What would you like to learn? What would you like to teach? A good opportunity to write, to share information. A good opportunity to uh, start some new networks, connect with some new people, different communities, different people, um, different hobbies, things that you're excited about. To really um, begin to explore that during this new moon in your third house. And on the 18th of the month, we have got good news. Mars comes into your sign Capricorn, where he's going to stay for a few weeks. So if your energy's been a bit sluggish or things have just been more slow or feels like you've been wading through glue a little bit, from the 18th of the month, this is an energy boost for you. And at the same time, it's really important that you take action. It's not good enough to say, oh, well, you know, I'm not sure, I haven't made a decision yet. No. Even if you make what you might consider a wrong decision, most decisions are reversible, if really necessary. So, take action. Good time to take action with your physical self, your personal self. Exercise, diet, uh, the way you look. Maybe it's time to uh, change that in some way, to be more dynamic. Yes, this is a really passionate energy that's coming through you. It's a really good time to make use of uh, Mars in your sign because Mars in your sign is exalted. So it means that you can accomplish and achieve a great deal. And Capricorns, surely 
that is music to your ear, ears. Hmm. On the 21st of the month, we've got the sun joining the party here in the fourth house. And on the 23rd, of course, as I said before, Mercury going retrograde. So this is shining a light on your home, your family uh, situation generally. Uh, maybe it's time to pay more attention to family members, to uh, get a little closer to them. Maybe it's time uh, to do the opposite, to say, no, it's time for me to get out into the world and to do some uh, more of my spiritual uh, journey. So these are just things uh, that you might be considering. And also a good time to do things in peace, in quiet, in solitude, in the peace of your own home. And finally, on the 31st of the month, we've got a full moon happening right up here in your 10th house, Capricorn, shining a light on your career, something blossoming that you might have been working on, coming to fruition. Or you might be changing direction or expanding your career in some way, or expanding or learning some new skills to enhance your career. And also, it's about opening your heart more generally in the people you interact with. It's not only career the 10th house. It's about becoming more conscious, more aware of connecting with the child within people. All too often people are very serious. Maybe you can just, and you are too Capricorn. Yes, you're ruled by Saturn. So, you know, you have to be very responsible. Well, you know, this is now encouraging you to be a little frivolous at times, to just, um, uh, blur some of the edges of this uh, deep responsibility that you take on. Maybe give away some of your commitments. We'll just say that can wait. Uh, it's not in a hurry. I'll just do one, two, three on my list and then the rest I'm going to now have some fun. So these are all suggestions based upon these aspects that are coming up for you lovely Capricorns during this month of March. So exciting month ahead. And I thank you for commenting, sharing and subscribing. Bye for now.